joined us. We are at the Hammer Western Open at Narrows Plaza Bowl in Tacoma, Washington. Sam Nover, Lisa Wagner. And we are in the second match on the stepladder. And as you can see, Leila Wagner, who is currently on the approach, has annihilated Alita Sill after Alita Sill had a wonderful first game in beating Karen Ellingsworth. We'll tell you all about the first match, and we'll tally up the pins in the second game, and we'll do all of that after we take a commercial break. We are live on ESPN, the Hammer Western Open from Tacoma. We'll be back. Did you know most... We have just concluded our second match, but this is Alita Sill just a few moments ago when she defeated Karen Ellingsworth. She struck in 10 of the 12 first balls that she delivered in rolling 268. And now we are back live as she closes out her second match. This one, however, will be a losing effort to the hometown girl, Leila Wagner, 26 years old. She has won this match 245 to 219. We'll move up the step ladder now as Leila Wagner will go against the number two qualifier, Nikki Giannullius. And we'll have that for you live here on ESPN right after this. Sam Nover and Lisa Wagner back at the Narrows Plaza Bowl in Tacoma. Lisa, here it is with uh, Leila Wagner winning her match. She bowled absolutely perfectly, 245, and obviously happy with the performance. Yeah, she sure is. Winning that first match is an important step. Can't win the title if you can't win the first match. It isn't very often that she's come this far, and uh, obviously this is a, she is in strange country at the moment. She has never won. Right. How difficult is it to win? She's got two matches more. That first one is very difficult. Uh, Leila, and from my past experience when I've seen her, she can win the first match, but then she has a problem on the second one. This is an important match for her to get by the second, get by Nikki. Nikki Giannullius, who, as I may remind some of our viewers who were with us earlier, is the young lady whom Lisa Wagner predicted would win it all. She's been hot. Uh, five consecutive shows now. She's been bowling great. I don't think she's finished lower than third in uh, six, seven tournaments now. Okay, we will be ready with this match as we move up the stepladder after we take time out for this word from your ESPN affiliates. So Nikki Giannullius will uh, bowl first, 26 years old, out of Vallejo, California. And you will note immediately that she curves the ball a great deal. She will come dangerously close to the channel. She's very powerful. And another great study in concentration. She's also one of the best out here as far as concentration goes. Good start. So she gets off on lane 11 to a very pleasant beginning, and we'll see how she did this week. She was 16-8 and eight in her match play, and look at the astounding average. Nearly 224 for 42 games. That's right. Total pinfall of 93.68 plus her bonus. Tightening up the shoelaces. Here's Lee Hilo Wagner. Mm, right on the nose. Leaves the 4-7. Easy spare, though. After that break, Leila from the last match, after that break, she might have gotten a little bit tight. That's normal. When the, you come back for the first frame of the next game, that's normal to be a little tight. And she covers very well. This is only the second time that Leila has been on TV this season as a bowler, of course. She's been on a number of times as a broadcaster. Um, so, uh, you know, you've got to assume that there is a certain degree of nervousness that's attached to it. Oh, sure. And with mother and dad sitting here and her friends right. and her family. Anybody that says they're not nervous bowling on a TV show is lying. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I got a good mix. Good connection. She stayed down with that shot. Kicks off the sideboard. Almost left a 4-5-7 there. Those are the last three pins to fall. But the head pin 
goes to the sideboard, kicks him off. It's got the million dollar smile, doesn't she? Yes, she does. Now, here is what you would call a deliberate bowler, Nikki Giannullius. And powerful. Perfect. So Nikki starts out with a double. Nikki may be enjoying the longest period of continuous success that she has ever had. Uh, she has seven TV appearances this season. She has the second leading average on the tour at 212, and she finished fourth here last year. She told me something that you're going to have to explain to me, Lisa. She said that she's more open this week uh, than she would like to be, referring to her shoulders. Right. She said she'd like to be straighter to the pins, but she said she's found so much success with it, and because of the lane mm -hmm. conditions, um, explain that to me. Okay. If you watch Nikki, when she, when she pushes the ball out, brings it back for her backswing, her shoulder, her right shoulder will turn back with the ball, the way the ball brings it back which causes her to throw the ball to the right. See how she's open mm -hmm, there? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. The of, Brooklyn side that time. Right. A lot of times that is the result. It, it left a 6-9-10, and she did so. It's hard to get that ball back the, through, back through the exact same way every time. Study her again in slow motion here, Lisa Wagner. Right. Watch her right shoulder open up. Her hips stay fairly straight. Her shoulders open up. If she doesn't get that back through the same every time, she misses her target. A tough spare for her? Uh, not for Nikki, I don't think. She's also a good spare shooter. Hard and straight. Mm -hmm. Makes no mistake about it. And so early on, Leila Wagner, with a spare in the first frame and a strike up in the second, Double here puts her right back in the match. Down about seven pins. Mm, mix again, and she got it. Oh, the good fortune. Yes, put a little extra speed on it that time. I think she wanted that one. <laughs> Same shot as last Isn't time. Isn't that wonderful? Here's a reaction to it all. And the reaction to her supporters behind her as well. A very vociferous following, might I say. And for those of you who again joined us late, uh, Leila is a native of Seattle, which is just down the road from Tacoma. Now resides in Dallas. She's a flight attendant for American Airlines. Oh. We've seen that a lot this week. Solid eight. Solid eight pin. The ball drove through so hard that it kicked the five straight back. See if we can see it. There's. Watch the five go straight uh -huh. back leaves the five. The, the normal path of the ball is to knock the five into the eight. That time it cut it straight back. Uh-oh. Oh, almost lost it. Leila Wagner converts and finds herself up by two. We'll return now in just a moment. Well, as we return, Leila Wagner has just very fortunately caved in the 7-pin, or else she would have had a 6-7-10. She is left with the 6-10, uh, which is certainly makeable, but she almost had disaster here, Lisa. She sure did. She about had a, a six-count uh, six split there. But instead, she's got a fairly easy spare of a 6-10. She has been fortunate the last few times. She, is, uh, she is, seems to be losing her first ball a little bit, and she's not solid in the pocket. Uh, right, that comes with uh, the middle of the match sometimes. You, you start to think about your situation, and the situation she's in right now is she's got two games to bowl yet. Uh, at one game after this one, the rest of this one, she's mm -hmm. thinking about that title. Well, she better not think about the title. She wins this. Right. She is up by the narrowest of margins, one pin over Nikki Giannullius at the moment. This is frame number six. For frame five for the island. Oh. Rip the wrap on that one. Rip the wrap again, huh? Yep. I'll get to use some of these expressions after a while. Right. It's going to take me a little while to get used to all of them. Right. <laughs> Came in a little bit thin, but she certainly got the action out of it, so she is up by a pin, and Nikki Giannullius now steps up to uh, the approach on lane number 12. Nikki has not won a tournament since 1984. 
but she has given a lot of credit to her coach, John Jowdy, who she says has, has turned her around. Yes, he, he sure has. I've worked with John Jowdy a lot, too. He really knows what he's talking about. Well, he must. You've won three tournaments, and you're the leading money winner on the tour this year with 29000 He's a lot of help. And she leaves a four. And the strikes are a little bit harder to come by as we sure. go up the ladder, and the tension gets a little tighter. The longer we bowl, also, the oil on the lane moves around. These are synthetic lanes. The oil that they put on the lanes doesn't have a... a it, it can't sink into the lane. It goes down the lane. Oh. So uh, probably about every four or five frames that are bowled, the oil goes down the lane a little more. It causes the shot to be a little different. And you don't know how to adjust to it. I mean, will the ball slide more or less with more oil on the lane? It'll slide more. It will. It'll go down the lane further before it hooks means you're going to have to move your feet a little bit or your target with your eyes. Nikki is still down a pin. We're in the seventh frame. Have we got a problem here? She's asking for another re-rack. We're allowed one per game. If that we want another re-rack, the pins are off spot. We have to ask permission. Gentleman is John Falzone, the president of the LPBT, and he has consented oh. to giving her another. She, that's her first. That's or, her second. That's her second. Yes. You mean you you have one, and right. you can ask for and receive as many as they'll give you. Right. If they feel that the pins are off spot and that you deserve a re-rack, they'll give it to you. A situation like this, Nikki needs to strike here to to put some pressure on Leona. So Nikki Giannoulias has got a strike up in the seventh. She is down by a pin. A very tight match with the hometown girl, Leila Wagner, will be back. Get out of So as you see, we are now into the seventh frame, and uh, Leila Wagner has a one-pin lead over Nikki Giannoulias. And this is the second-to-last match of the day. And Leila Wagner will have an opportunity, perhaps, to meet her roommate for the championship, but she's got to win this one. And there it is. So Leila has doubled, and awaiting the winner of this match is the number one qualifier, Lori Nichols. Let's talk about that. Again, she got good action. Yes, uh, that's a ring and ten where the ten fell. Now, the six pin wraps around the ten pin. Sometimes it hits it, sometimes it doesn't. She got a fortunate break that the top of the six pin hit it. You and I talked a bit before we went on the air about having to perform in front of your family could have an adverse or a positive effect on you. And it's apparent that it's had a very positive effect on Leila Wagner. Right now, I think she enjoys that enthusiasm her friends are showing. She's playing to the crowd, isn't she? She sure is. She's wonderful, and she's uh, she's on a three-bagger now and leads by 21, and Nikki Giannoulias is in trouble. Nikki's matches always seem to come down to the eighth or ninth frame. <laughs> yeah, I remember one that came down to the last ball last weekend in Minnesota, and a young lady by the name of Lisa Wagner took the money right out of her pocket, didn't you? Well, I'll tell you, I had doubt. I know, I saw the expression on your face. I was Great strike. Great strike. So we've still got ourselves a good one here. Eleven pins separates Wagner and Nikki Giannoulias, and we'll be back for the final two frames in just a moment. Nikki Giannoulias down by 12, and here is her last delivery. She got an, an incredibly bad break. The head pin went to the, to the left side wall, came back across. A lot of times it knocks the 10 out, hers didn't. Incredibly bad break. So she left the 10, was working on a double, gets a 9 count. She is down by 12, goes cross. Picks it up very nicely. It's all in Leila's hand. Leila does not seem to favor either one of the lanes, does she? Or have you noticed her bowling better on one or the other, Lisa? Not yet. I haven't noticed too much of a difference yet. A lot of times one lane will be uh, three, four boards different than the other. 
She is working on a three-bagger and leading by 12. She could really put some distance between herself and Nikki right now. Mm. Reared up on that shot a little bit. She leaves a 3-6-10. Now, how, how does that leave come about? Uh, did she just she release the ball too early? or? Uh, well, when, when she threw the ball, her knee bend came up a little early. If you watch here, watch her come up with the foul line. See how she falls off balance there? Mm -hmm. Possibly could have stuck on the approach. And covers it very nicely. So she had a chance to put some sizable distance between her and Nikki, and now she leads by only nine. And we are in the all-important tenth frame, and you call the ninth frame the foundation frame. Right. And neither of them used it really to build on, did they? Right. Uh, count is important right now. And count, I mean... Uh, being that Nikki has 175, Leal has 184 in the eighth. The count is important. Can't do any better than that. She averaged 217 this week, and she has this crowd on its feet. They are absolutely ecstatic with their performance. With this next strike, Leal can shut Nikki out. So she can win it here, and she is asking, I believe, for a re-rack. And there is an extremely close look at this very, very attractive young lady. Needs one strike to win. Now, this piece of equipment that is in the lower right-hand portion of your television screen is a scanner that is out there above the channel for the scoring, is it right, not? Right, for the automatic scores. Mm -hmm. That does not, by the way, interfere with the channel or the delivery of the ball, but it looks like it does. Everything depends on your perspective, I guess. Right. When you're sitting all the way back here or standing on the approach, you don't even notice it. Yeah. It also does not judge the speed of the ball, no. like a, like one of those in baseball, right? Right. <laughs> the jug gun. It's a good thing, too. Some of us would get pretty high. But Leila Wagner can close it out with a strike here. Maybe the biggest strike of her life. Good shot. Need we say more? Kicks the 10 out. She's can carry, carry, yes. She knows it. Now she she has to stay behind the foul line. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you what. I had that position last week. It's not that easy. <laughs> A strike for 234. She did. she did and she got the strike. Lee Isla Wagner has moved on to the finals. And what a dandy that one should be. She will now meet her roommate. And we'll have that great match for you, Leila Wagner and Lori Nichols, upcoming here on ESPN Live from Tacoma right after this. It's Nikki Giannullius, 234 to 215. Leila now with games at 245 and 234 has moved from the number three qualifying position with a chance to win it all as she goes up against Lori Nichols. Uh, tell me about Lori Nichols, Lisa. Lori right now is on a roll. This is a... Uh fourth time I believe that she has led a tournament, been top qualifier needs to, to win that one game for the title, has not won yet this year from the top position. Well, now why? I mean, we're not going to call her a choke artist. I mean, obviously no. she's an enormously talented woman to lead the qualifiers four times. What yes. happens in the final game? To her? Well, uh, I guess probably the same thing that's been happen to happening to Nikki is that she gets a lot of bad breaks. She doesn't carry very good, and when like when in this situation, Leila is coming on to the title match, she's got a feel for the lanes. She knows how they're reacting. She knows if, say, 11 is hooking more than 12. Lori has six practice shots to find that out. Mm -hmm. If she doesn't make good shots in those six shots, then she has to spend the first part of the title game to line up. Well, Lori, uh, don't, no bleeding hearts for Lori here. She has won $200,000 in her career, and she is the winner of the 1986 Fab Ball Cup as the player who has accumulated the most points in four Hammer-sponsored tournaments this year. She wins $1,500 bonus from Fab Ball for that. Cindy Coburn, by the way, of Buffalo, finished uh, second and won $1,000. So she has won some money, and she has won a ton of tournaments. And we'll see how she does here. We are prepping for the championship match. It'll be the number three qualifier, Leila Wagner, against the top qualifier, Lori Nichols. And we'll have it for you here live from Tacoma right after this. Hi, I'm Alita Sill, 1984 Bull of the Year, and I've got the hammer 
I'm Wayne Webb, another bowler of the year, and I've got the nail. The hammer. The nail. The hammer. The nail. Use the hammer or the nail from Fabol, the right tools for building bigger scores. I'm going to try the nail. I'm going to try the hammer. Great bowlers use both, the hammer and the nail from Fabol, available at pro shops everywhere. And Hammer proudly announces the new Hammer shirt for women. This butts for all that you do. Carlos, I need a hundred of these by Friday. My friend, I'm retired. My son is running the business now. Oh. You know just where you're going. It's true, your pride is showing cause you. You make America work and this butts for you. Here's to you, Beechwood Age, for that clean, crisp taste that says Budweiser. This buzz for you. Heisman Trophy candidate D.J. Dozier leads top ten ranked Penn State against West Virginia. Saturday night at 7.30 Eastern, live on ESPN. The applause is for both Leila Wagner and Lori Nichols. Leila Wagner will bowl first, and she will begin on lane 11. And as I mentioned, I was hoping it would come to this. I have a selfish reason. I, uh, I think this is terrific. Leila Wagner and Lori Nichols are roommates yes, they on are. the road, and that must be a strange feeling. It's hard bowling your roommate. <laughs> it, it really is. <laughs> Sometimes you tend not to take it quite as serious as you, as you do if you're bowling someone that's, uh, that you don't know as well. This well, is like a friendly pot game here. That's exactly right. Like you go out and play a $5 NASA on the golf course, huh? Yep, that's right. Except this is this $5 is $5,000 to the winner. Mm. Oh. Missed the head pin completely. Leaves the 1, 2, 4, 10. Washout. It's called a washout. It's not a split because it has the head pin included in it. It's and why? And why does it happen? She got the ball inside her target right now. On the conditions that we're bowling on right now in this particular house, in, the, in these particular conditions, if you tuck the ball inside your target a little bit, the ball skids down the lane further. Doesn't want to bite because there's oil there. So there is an open frame for Leila Wagner as you look at the tournament leader in qualifying. She caved in and an ugly set up there for a moment. Leaves the four pin. Lori Nichols. Had a good break there in breaking up the split. Average 227 this week. I am a lot of wood, huh? Yeah, and she almost missed it. And she's looking down at the approach. Right. The approaches, uh, when you have synthetic approaches, sometimes they get a little tacky. But a couple slides, you can slide on it two or three times, and it's back to normal. Virtually unbeatable this week. You see her statistics for the week 17 and 7 in match play, averaging nearly 227 a game. Lori Nichols, 35 years old, Algonquin, Illinois, is her hometown. Yes. Got her first strike, and another power bowler. Yes. Lori throws the ball a little straighter than most power bowlers do. But still, she gets a lot on the ball. She gets a lot of stuff on the ball, I guess you could say. That was the score from their match earlier in the week. Yes. And like you said, it probably just had to be a friendly game. But uh, Whoops. there is something wrong with that approach. Leila almost yeah. fell over and almost tripped the line, and now she is working on it. So there is something seriously the matter with the approach on 12. It's very scary. I had an experience uh, a couple months ago when I was bowling in a pro-am in a tournament and I fell mm. and I landed out down near the dot oh on, my the, on the lane. It's very scary. Now what can be Did done about that? Is, is, do, you, do you treat, you can't treat the approach during the match. What do they do? Something on the shoes perhaps? Uh, no, we're not allowed to put anything on our shoes. Actually, it is the opposite. Oh, okay. We do take a, take a dry towel uh, and, and wipe it down. Sometimes just sliding on it with your sliding foot will help too. Well, as you just mentioned, you can't do anything about the shoes, but you can do something about the approach. Right. Here's Leila. Having no problems with 11. Good comeback. So a little disjointed beginning here as both ladies are having problems with the approach and or shoes. 
again it's Lori Nichols. A real exercise buff, a Nautilus participant. I guess you've got to have it for the stamina when you bowl sure 50 and 60 oh, games a week. That one's there. He's got some rhythm now. Okay. As you probably noticed, Lori's a very quick bowler. She doesn't like to take a lot of time. That's her way of handling the pressure. And our scorekeeper, Fran Wolf, informs me that just like that, Lori Nichols has jumped in front by 22. Of course, Fran Wolf has informed me of a lot more than just the score this week. Gave me a quick crash course in bowling. <laughs> and don't think I don't appreciate it. When you and I were talking yesterday, I said to you that seeing Lori Nichols for the first time gives me the approach of a businesswoman coming to work, but she's yeah. got a briefcase back. She is all business. Yes, she is. She wants to win. She has a three-bagger, too, and she has widened her lead to 32 pins over the hometown favorite, Leila Wagner. We're in the finals of the Hammer Western Open. We'll be back. We just have to discuss our holiday gift list, Tom. It's kind of early, isn't it? This year, we're getting a head start. Look, most of these people are sports fans, right? Uh, right. Well, here's the perfect holiday gift, a gift subscription to the Sporting News. Great idea, a gift that keeps on giving all year, 52 weeks, 52 big issues. Actually, it's 55. 52 weeks of the regular issues, plus the baseball preview, football preview, and the basketball preview. And now we can give the Sporting News at a special low rate. Want to please the fans on your list? Get a pencil, because here's a friend with a money-saving half-price offer. Get your list and call now, toll-free, 1-800-221-2100. You'll order 55 issues of the Sporting News for three installments of only $9.15. Each subscription includes three special preview issues at no extra cost. This is a savings of one-half off the regular subscription rate. So order for yourself, too. Call now, 1-800-221-2100. Leila Wagner, after a spare in the fourth frame, gets a strike in the fifth and something to work on. She is still, however, down 32 pins. And there you see Lori Nichols. Oh! And she caves in the seventh. Working on a four bag. So that's here. four in a row now, and she yep. goes up by 42. And it's getting oh, worse. Seven pin was awful slow to mm -hmm. go down there. She's asking for a re rack also. Doesn't seem to be doing much wrong there. We mentioned at the outset of our broadcast, Lisa, that obviously you had to pull out of this tournament because of some back problems. You'll be interested to know, if you don't already, that Lori apparently has a chronic back problem. Yes. It kicks up on her every once in a yes, while. Yes, she does. I believe she had a herniated disc. Uh, probably, she does a lot of lifting. She owns pro shops. Mm -hmm. And uh, when, you're, when you're running pro shops, that's a lot of weight to carry around when you get cases of balls in and things. And I, I'm sure uh, that hasn't helped her. But right now, she seems to look pretty good. Not well, bothering she her. She can bowl on television, I'll tell you. This young lady holds the woman's world record for four games on TV. She may be trying to set another one here. Back in 1981, she averaged 255. She bowled 10-19 for four games. I mean, that's... <laughs> Looks like she could do it today. Again yeah, too. up 52. Working on a 290 game, should she strike out. And Liad is in all sorts of trouble. Still looking she for needs her to first victory. Do it well. Uh, she got it. So she answers with a double of her own. She trusted that shot. What I mean by that is, is uh, see how she gets the ball out more toward the right this time? Mm -hmm. That She hit her target that time. The last two times she was on that lane, she was inside of her target, causing the ball to hit oil that's there, go down the lane longer. That time she trusted it. Bowled a 299 game this week, so she can string them together, and she's got three in a row. So we aren't finished yet. Not quite yet. We're in the home stretch of the championship match. Leila Wagner trailing by 32 pins to Lori Nichols. We'll be back for the last three after this. 
Did you know most wine coolers have more calories a bottle than a glazed donut? A California cooler has more calories than a slice of Boston cream pie. And Bartles and James has more calories than a stack of buckwheat pancakes. But Dewey Stevens Premium Light is light, with a clean, fresh taste and a third less calories. About the same as the average granola bar. So you decide, one of those heavyweights or Dewey Stevens Premium Light. In a city that's changing by the minute, there's one tradition that will last forever. The Dallas Hilton, America's business address in downtown Dallas. I had to try this to believe it. Denerex Tangles tells me it's doing more. Selsun Blue, no tangle. Both Denerex and regular Selsun Blue have dandruff medicine, but Denerex adds an extra anti-itch medicine. So long, Selsun Blue. Hello, Denerex. Sam Nover and Lisa Wagner back in Tacoma, Washington. Glad you could be with us live on ESPN. We are in the final match of the Hammer Western Open. And Lori Nichols leads Lee Isla Wagner by 32. This is Lori Nichols. Mm. Trouble. Oh. Had a five-bagger going. Leaves only the five-pin. Puts Lee Isla right back at the bench. Sometimes it's as much of what your opponent does as what you do to get back in the match. That's right. And then sometimes you can't do a thing to get back in the match, That's no matter right. how many times you strike. There's no way at all that you can control what your opponent does. You have to worry about your own game. 31-pin difference now. Lori Nichols still in the lead over her roommate, Leila Wagner. More importantly, though, Leila's on a double. She could get two more when, she, when her turn comes up. Puts her right back in. I know they bowled against each other hundreds and hundreds of times, but I bet never for this kind of money. I don't believe they have. Oh, good action. Good action. Watch the ball. Watch the pin splatter. Mm, kicked it out. She's good at doing that. When she carries that shot, she's tough to beat. And her reaction, she's got one victory this year and four second-place finishes. You talk about being a bridesmaid. She doesn't want to be second again. No, she sure doesn't. Lee Island needing desperately. She's got it. That's three. That's four in a row for Lee Isla Wagner, and the lead is down to 21 pins. And she, she can cut it to 11 with another one. Pardon me, Lisa. She looks confident. That's all. She, I said she looks very confident. She was all but out of this match a couple minutes ago. That's right. Learned something about her today, haven't you? Mm -hmm. She is, and if you didn't know it already, highly competitive. Do it well. Yes. Leila Wagner with a five-bagger has closed a 52-pin deficit to 11. Boy. We can have a finish like last week. Uh, I hope so. As long as I'm not in it. Oh. Got a good break and trip in the four-pin. So Lori's starting to lose just a touch of her rhythm, just the hair. Right. A very precarious 11-point lead for Lori Nichols. I wonder if she's starting to get some flashbacks now to other matches that maybe she has not finished well in. Well, I, you can't help enter your mind. Uh-oh. Oh, oh <laughs> my goodness. She's stuck on the approach. And it's the same one that's been giving both of these young ladies trouble all day long. And she just simply cold missed it. If she strikes out, she's going to force Leila to at least mark with very good count. Okay, she's got one. Lori Nichols at the moment is down one pin as you look at Leila Wagner trying to win for her first time ever on the LPBT tour. And her mother and father are here. If she Lori is home again. If Lori strikes out, the island must get the first strike to win. Mm -hmm. Leaves, a, life. leaves a bucket there, doesn't she? Two, four, five, eight. Lori also looking at the score. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's very important right now for Lori to pick this pair up. 
she is in the tenth. And the count is important. So last ball and she she counts nine. And finishes at 226. Sir George Smith said it. I'm not taking credit for it. He said it's so quiet here you could hear a pin not drop. No. I can't believe he said it. The situation is this. Leila has to have good count. She has to have nine. She got it out. She got it out. There's your winner. Oh, and she cannot believe it. Leila Wagner has won her first tournament and did it in very dramatic style. Perfect shot. What better way to, to win a title? Carrie, look at her. Carrie. She is in tears on the approach. Look at this. Isn't that wonderful? I don't know how she's going to throw this ball now. I, I don't <laughs> think she cares. And to think that she was supposed to be my broadcast partner this week, That's Lisa. Right. What a fabulous finish. And she gets a big hug from her roommate. She still has one ball to deliver for 248. She has bowled 245, 234, and with a strike here, 248 for all of it. And oh. she's got it all. Excellent show. So your champion of the 1986 Hammer Western Open is Leila Wagner accepting the congratulations. Now a hug from her mother. Isn't this wonderful? It sure is. She's been waiting an awful long time for this title. Accepting all the congratulations from her family and friends here in Tacoma. What a great thrill it must be for that young lady. We'll have a chance to visit with her and we'll have more for you when we return live to Tacoma on ESPN. Some people know me because I hammer the competition. I've blocked many challengers and run rings around the competition. And here's the tool pros and serious amateurs need to hammer the competition. You too can build better scores because a hammer hits harder. So hammer the competition in league play, tournament bowling, and professional tournaments. The hammer ball and hammer sportswear is available only in finer pro shops. Pick up a hammer ball and a hammer shirt today. This buds for all that you do. They said this city was through. You said no way. Each day the spirit's growing. Your pride is really showing you. You make America work and this buds for you. Here's to you. Beachwood Age for that clean, crisp taste that says Budweiser. This bug's for you. Did you know most wine coolers have more calories a bottle than a glazed donut? A California cooler has more calories than a slice of Boston cream pie. And Bartles and James has more calories than a stack of buckwheat pancakes. But Dewey Stevens Premium Light is light, with a clean, fresh taste and a third less calories. About the same as the average granola bar. So you decide. One of those heavyweights or Dewey Stevens Premium Light. It's the dawn of a brand new day. Introducing new Sunspray Coast. Same great coast leather, but a whole new scent. Coast Sunspray picks you up in a brand new way. Like the fresh, clean feeling of a brand new day. Coast picks you up and makes you feel alive. Yeah, Coast, feel alive with Coast. New Sunspray Coast and invigorating regular Coast, too. Okay, once again, let's look at the, the finish to this uh, tremendous victory by Leila Wagner as she, uh, and the reaction, too, when she clinched the match. Here's her delivery, Lisa. She knows what she's done, realizes it. Look at the emotion. Take over uh, all of a sudden. And the tears. Here come the tears. That's and right. the wonderful feeling. Look at her cry. Isn't that terrific? 
<laughs> Everybody's watching on the monitors here in the bowling center. And now, as you can see, she is accepting the check and the congratulations. She rightfully deserves Earl Widman, the president of Fab Ball, the manufacturer of the Hammer Ball. Tom Cameron from Dewey Stevens is there. And Leila has earned herself $5,000. Now for Lisa Wagner. This is Sam Nover thanking you very much for joining us and bidding you goodbye from Tacoma, Washington. The Ladies Pro Bowlers Tour moves to Brunswick Wonder Bowl in Anaheim, California for the Brunswick LA Open. We will have the finals live here on ESPN next Saturday at 5 o'clock Eastern, 2 o'clock Pacific Time. The Dewey Stevens Ladies Pro Bowlers Tour Fall Tour has been brought to you by Dewey Stevens Premium Light, the wine cooler with a clean, fresh taste and one-third less calories. Dewey, you do me right. By Hammer, the choice of pros and amateurs worldwide. And Hammer Sportswear for men and women. And by Northwest Fabrics, serving creative America with fabrics and crafts. This has been a production of Bud Sports. Now stay tuned for an NBC special, Jack Parr Comes Home. May I ask you, so that I don't look too naive, a tough question right off the bat? Whether I'm a Democrat or Republican. <laughs> oh, baby.